Hello folks, uh, this is Kinky, doing uh, Let's Play Army Man World at War Part 5. As we're waiting for the mission here to load up, it, it's going to take a bit, I suppose. But uh, it says that the, uh, our, we have to get to the down plane and search for survivors, and remember that this is Tan territory. As you can see, uh, Tan Bomber has already dropped some paratroopers, actually a couple of Tan Bombers. But luckily we're able to get the drop on some of them, so we're able to kill them all the, before they get a chance to set up. But they hit pretty hard. Uh, pretty much this whole beginning stick here is uh, equipped with submachine guns that rip rip you apart. But luckily they're generous enough to give some med kits along the way. So we're not too bad. Uh, they're being way too generous now. They're giving us grenades and they're giving us some more med kits. And that's kind of a good sign. Well, uh, here's a tan machine gunner. We gotta take him out. Or he'll be a pain in the butt. Okay, let's go ahead and get going. And it looks like there's some more parrots that dropped out we have to kill off. Go ahead and kill them off. Another bed kit. That's a bad sign. Pick that one up. And keep going on our journey. Now oh, there's a tan there hidden behind the rocks there, but my character can't see him in view. One of them camera tricks, I suppose. Man, those machine gunners hurt. So we'll go ahead and cook a grenade in, all, in this uh, tan outpost here, full of pop tents. Looks like a couple woke up, but we weren't able to kill anything. Kind of stunk. Looks like we got some more grenades though, and ouch, I'm already chewed up and I died. Told you that some machine gunners hurt. <laughs> Went, went from full health to splat in two seconds. For those who missed the bombing drop again of the parachuters dropping down, you can go ahead and take a look there. Like I said, this would definitely be a good uh, MMO element for those people who like to make that sort of thing. But uh, we'll go ahead and try to get back to where we were. Hopefully be a little more careful this time. Since at least this time we know that there's some ample health around there, I'm willing to get hurt a little bit more. Uh, unfortunately, the auto aim is still fail. It's hitting the it's hitting the tree trunk rather than him. So, so we'll just adjust ourselves a little bit more and look around. And it looks like there's some tan hiding around. Oh, there's one. Looks like we snuck up on him. Yeah. I'm trying different microphone levels uh, to see what quality comes out for when I'm speaking and how much makes it sound too nasally, so I apologize. Uh, for some videos I look nasally, and other videos I uh, have good quality. Uh, so I, I apologize there. My breathing comes a bit too strong. Like I said, it's kind of a fixed microphone headset, so can't do too much about my uh, microphone voice thing. I will try my best, though. And why is there a green pup tent there? That makes no sense. If we're in tan territory, it should be tan. Makes no sense. I apologize for coughing again. It's a lot to speak all at once and I kind of run out, run out long, I suppose. We'll go, but uh, pretty much, I've been, uh, as far as new stuff though, I've been playing around with some Mario Paint Composer stuff and uh, really been getting into that. But unfortunately, uh, I don't have an 
uh, MIDI to MP3 converter. So I do have the M MIDIs, but like I said, I need a converter. And once I do get a converter, then I can start uploading some music for people who want to listen to that sort of thing. But I haven't done anything too elaborate yet. Uh, they've been sounding okay. But I don't really have much musical knowledge, so I, I don't know how good it's going to sound to the YouTube world. And they're probably not going to be too long. They're probably going to only be like a minute or so long in length. So I'll probably do a uh, yeah. compilation or however you want to pronounce it of all my various tracks and let you guys kind of listen to them. Auto aim being a pain in the butt. Should, and shouldn't have taken all those hits that I should have. So let's go ahead and get back and get a med kit we didn't pick up before. Hopefully there's something out there for us. And that's a tan jeep approaching. That's not a good sign. Uh, I think that the game left a subtle hint. Oh, there's a tank up ahead of us. That's really not a good sign. Well, the game did give us a hint that we sh should be on our kind of in a hurried pace. And I think I see why. Uh, they're sending a tank and two jeeps and another jeep behind it. So we need to get to our guys as soon as we can. If there's any survivors anyway. So fine, I'll bum rush ya. Roll out of the way here. Unfortunately, due to it being a step spawn thing, uh, they, that's why I said uh, 3DO was kind of notorious for having those sort of bad step spawn things. They could have done that a bit better. Anyway, since we're ahead of the jeeps now, we'll go ahead and chuck some hand grenades. See, see if we can slow them down a bit. And the tank is firing at something. Who knows what it's firing at? Really, what is it firing at? There's nothing up there. Looks like we might have hit a jeep. But grenade throws are rather crappy. So we won't, we won't worry about it. And they made the plane bigger than what it is uh, for some reason. If you compare, compared it to my a couple of parts ago, uh, that plane size is way too big to be normal. And due to quick slowdown, I mean quick of lack of turning around fast enough, we get pwned a bit. But we ran to our guys, so we got clear away for these guys here. Looks like a man's running up already. Might be looking for a radio or something to get get some. Yeah, it looks like he's talking on the phone. And the jeeps are already there, shooting our way up. We gotta take out these jeeps quick. That looks like we hit one. Oh, he ran right into a tr ran into right into a dang uh, tree there. Don't know about the other guy though. Uh oh, and there's a the tank. It looks like a Huey's landed right behind us though. So we were able to get out alive. Fortunately, they left my guy there for whatever reason, but we're technically in the heli. So I guess it don't matter. But as you can see, now we can see that there's a jeep behind that column. Then there's another jeep. Uh, there's some grenades that I missed. And the, it says that the air crew survived. And that's as quick as us in game. And it says green bombing raid is success, and down airmen are retrieved. So now we're in the next act of the game. That was kind of quick, wasn't it? But uh, now we got to deal with the loading screen. As you can see here, uh, it does that pesky little one percent as being the biggest for whatever reason. I don't know why game designers have the Last file and thing take the longest to load, but that's them. When it says enter the trenches and take out a tank and supply depot. Sounds pretty fun. Simple job. 
or not so simple. Uh, looks like the Tanner are heavily defended here, and it looks like they are firing some field artillery on us. And we got two guys to support us, but with field artillery going on, I doubt I'm going to last long. And well, at least we got in the trenches. Hopefully, the field gun don't hit us here. Looks like it did, though. So this bikini's heading out. Uh, see you later.